Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to our Rule the Waves Succession series. This is part 27 of the series, in which uh, I've recently taken over from XTRG, running France for the second time around. In this last video, we started a war with Italy and won an early victory against the Italians, sinking one of their battleships. Uh, I believe we also sank one of their battle cruisers, if my memory serves me right, with for the loss of five destroyers of our own. And I'm sorry, no, it was one battleship and one heavy cruiser and two enemy destroyers at the cost of five destroyers of our own. So a good start to the war. However, as France, we are somewhat heavily outnumbered. Uh, anyway, this is all from a live stream. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and jump right back into the live stream. This is part three of my new uh, return to ruling France. And this is part two of the great war against Italy, the second Franco-Italian war. In the first war, we were able to take Sardinia under my own command. Uh, XTRG, or sorry, Tortuga fought a war against Germany and took Germany's African holdings in Western and Eastern Africa. And uh, XTRG fought a war against Austria, but unfortunately Austria has no colonies that you can take and they don't share a contiguous land border. So at the end of the day, Austria lost nothing. Uh, but in this war, we're hoping to get Sicily. I'm a little bit concerned that it's worth too much, so we may actually end up with just Eritrea, which is Italy's last colony in Africa. We took their other colonies in our last war, so we would take their last African colony if we were to beat them. That's kind of what I'm anticipating. Anyway, guys, with all that being said, please feel free to leave comments in the description below, and I'm going to jump back into the live stream audio. Thanks again, guys. Uh, the battle cruisers might make good raiders as well. They're only short range though, so actually no, they won't. These guys all have long range, so that's quite a few ships raiding at the moment. Coastal patrol. And I've got several ships working up. You can see a bunch of destroyers under construction. We're gonna just, in the interest of saving time, we're gonna go ahead and build more of these Escapet class destroyers to make up for the five destroyers that we just lost. We're going to build eight of them. And then I'm thinking we'll lay down another Cosmo. We'll lay down two more Cosmo class light cruisers. They're a pretty modern design. I think they're adequate. 1916 design. So we'll lay down two more of those light cruisers. These are going to be the new flagships of the fleet for our light cruisers. And as they come on, we'll send more and more of these obsolete ships out for commerce rating. Uh, but that is the first major battle, guys. That was about another hour, just a little bit shy. I'm going to need to take a real quick break, if you can bear with me. Just a few moments. I'll check in with the chat. Um, and then... Uh, our cruisers are halted? Oh, damn. I didn't even realize that. No wonder they haven't been making progress. Resume. Puts us way in the black, or in the red. Um, when these destroyers come up, hopefully that'll help balance the budget a bit. Not much. Well, we've got this battle cruiser coming off the ways very shortly, and that's expensive. And that's nice, because this is a good battle cruiser. 10 16-inch guns will fare well against Italy. Um, yeah. Okay. So some of the Cosmos have started coming online. We're actually going to move this to the Mediterranean. God damn it. 16,000 tons shy of foreign station? I don't even know what foreign station ships do, in all honesty. What does that even mean? Okay, I guess we'll bring these uh, ocean class out of mothballs as well. Oh boy, are we in the red. How will war affect ship design? That's a good question. Um, it will probably mean I won't lay down as many battleships. I was hoping to lay down another two big dreadnoughts, but the fact is they're not going to see service in all likelihood before the war is over. So I will probably focus on the light ships that I lose in these kind of battles that we just fought. For example, I tend to get my destroyer sunk because I leave them to the AI control. So if that's the case, I probably will be building more heavily for destroyers. In addition to that, I may start laying down some submarines. I'm going to allow my submarines unrestricted warfare uh, access. 
Hopefully that allows us to take out some French or Italian merchant shipping. We are fighting Italy for the second time. Remember, guys, in my last game, I played and fought Italy. If we win a war against Italy, we don't have many more colonies to steal. We took Sardinia, and they haven't taken anything else. So we'll probably get Eritrea. My hope is that we can weaken them enough so that we can land and invade and take Sicily. That would be great. But I don't think we can win a war where we get enough points so we can take Sicily. That would be my ideal objective. Uh, realistically, it'll probably end up being Eritrea, which is another African colony. It expands our colonial hold over Africa, but it's not quite you know, worthy of a expensive conflict. Nonetheless, we're at war, and that's, uh, that's what we're going to have to deal with. So back to the stream. You can see here we have insufficient ships on certain stations. Uh, we are shy 17,000 tons in Southeast Asia, 7,000 in the Indian Ocean, and 5,000 in West Africa. That's because we just put some ships on foreign station in those sections. So, for example, the Ocean is a battleship in South Southeast Asia. So if we were to just make it active instead, that would solve... It wouldn't solve Southeast Asia. Southeast Asia... So that wouldn't solve our, um, I don't know why it wouldn't solve it. Anyway, so that's there. What about, what about our other sections here? We've got 7,000 shy in the Indian Ocean. Maybe it doesn't solve it right away and it waits till the next turn. Indian Ocean, the Marseille class is currently on raider duty. So if we were to change that to active fleet, well, no, it says the Marseille's already there. No, so apparently we need more more ships in these locales. Um, what do we do? I'm actually thrilled. I, I, I like the idea of bringing these guys back and having them serve in the main fleet. Uh, the ocean class is I'm not too worried about, so we're actually going to do this. We're going to move these guys to the Indian Ocean where they're never going to see combat. And, well, now apparently we have sufficient forces on station. I don't know. I'm confused. Anyway, all right, so let's go ahead and jump ahead to the next turn. Let's change this back to unrestricted submarine warfare. So some cruisers and torpedo breakthrough. Our submarines sink. Whoa, 15 ships gained 75 victory points. One submarine sunk. The Italian submarines have sunk two ships, so our submarines are doing really well, actually. If we look at our research, French Raider sinks one Italian merchant for five victory points. Italian Raider sinks one French merchant for five victory points. In a battle between our ally and Italy, the Italian ship destroyer Giovanni Acrebi has been heavily damaged. Okay, so apparently our ally Germany does participate in this war. That is good to know. Um... Okay, so another battle. This one's a coastal raid. We're raiding Italy. And a decline gives the enemy 85 victory points. Now, we have some of our ships are still working back up from injury. I would rather not fight another fleet engagement. It doesn't say it's a fleet engagement, though. It says it's a medium-sized battle. I don't know what that means, but we're going to accept battle and see what happens. So, I really think the game should let you know exactly what you have when you go into a battle. But it looks like we've got the new Cosimo-class ship. The new light cruiser with 13 7-inch guns, so we will see how she bears out, because in all odds, she's probably outnumbered. And then we're going to change these guys to AI control, just to support us up ahead. We can always change that, but we've got four destroyers and one light cruiser. Our objectives are to destroy one bombardment target, uh, which is where? Where is our objective? Right here, in the southern tip of Italy. All right, folks, well, that's what we're going to make out for, so... Full speed ahead, we're going to crank the speed up, I'd say, to 20 knots. We can always go a little bit faster if we need to, and then we'll go ahead and get the game underway. So our destroyers are following, as they should. And so far, no enemy ships detected. Okay, enemy ship sighted as we close in on the objective. What is it? Multiple enemy ships, light cruiser and destroyer, so some enemy destroyers, and light cruisers. So they're being driven off a little bit. I imagine we have better guns than they do. We'll slow things down, and you can see here we're hitting the bombardment target with our 7-inch guns. 
So we're just going to kind of circle around the target until we destroy it. You can see here there's some other enemy ships up here. But at the end of the day, we really need to destroy the bombardment target. If we do that, as long as... Okay, so we've destroyed the bombardment target. So we could pull out, I think, and this battle would be a victory. But why do that when it seems like we've got a very heavily armored light cruiser, and damn is she fast, to maybe run down an enemy AV or some other ships to ensure that this is a victory. So we'll go ahead and move speed up to normal. And I doubt their merchant ship can make 25 knots. So we'll close in on her, finish her off, and we'll do whatever damage we can. You know, the bigger the victory, the better. I'm trusting she doesn't have torpedoes or anything that can shoot back. We'll just make sure we sink her. Just kind of circle around her. We'll kind of work our way... Yeah, we'll pick up survivors. Okay. So now we're going to kind of make our way north. Nightfall is coming. We're going to close in on Napoli and see if there's any additional enemy ships there. This was a rather easy victory. The Cosmos is a very good light cruiser design. 28 knots, 7-inch guns, uh, almost armed like a heavy cruiser, speed like a light cruiser. So I'm very happy with that. An enemy destroyer. So it looks like we badly damaged her. She appeared to stop and dead in the water. And it looks like we may have sunk her. Okay. So again, ravaging the Italian coast is my objective. The more we can hurt them now, a cheap destroyer kill without any loss on our part certainly is nice. Go ahead and speed things up a bit. Continue cruising up the Italian coast. I'm sure this is exhilarating. The Franco-Germanic War against Italy in 1918. Well, you know, it's a little-known conflict. One of the great what-ifs. <laughs> uh, okay. So it's good to know that the Germans can participate in fleet actions against the Italians as well. I'm curious how often they have decisive engagements. But we'll go ahead and do ultra-fast. Again, we're just kind of sailing up the coast, 24 knots. We'll slow it down to 20 knots to, per, to conserve some fuel. Because it does track fuel. Although I don't think there's any way we'd burn through it. Okay, so a minor French victory. Destroyed the bombardment target. Enemy gets a bonus for having surviving merchantmen, which is odd because our objective was never to sink them. But we did sink one enemy merchant ship. We sunk one enemy, or one enemy minesweeper, one auxiliary, and one light LT. So apparently it was not a destroyer, it was an auxiliary. Um, nonetheless, uh, three enemy ships sunk and a bombardment target without any loss, only light damage to one of our ships. So the game may only call that a minor victory, but I disagree. And you can see here we got 400 more victory points, the enemy got 100. So another good day uh, for the French Navy. So, um, you know, right now we're pretty heavily in the red, so we're just going to kind of power ahead. No ships really able to be built at the moment. And you can see here some research breakthrough. Our scientists reported they hit a dead end with their efforts to figure out the advanced design calculations. Our submarines sink 17 enemy ships. We've got some damn good subs, folks. 85 victory points, although we did lose two subs sunk. The Italians sink six for 30. French Raider sinks two for 10. They get one for five. And the French ship Linos intercepts the Italian Raider in the Mediterranean. So we're going to go ahead and fight that battle. It will be a one-on-one -on -one ship engagement. These have the ability to actually be quite influential. They must be like sort of PR masterpieces or something. So the Leonos, uh, what type of ship is she? Let's see here. So she is a Levasseur class, eight six-inch guns. Only makes 23 knots, though. So it's a little bit slow. Hopefully she's not outgunned. We shall see. Unknown ship spotted. So we're going to make for 23 knots. Hopefully, oh, we can only make 20 knots? No, we can make 23 knots. We'll make for 23 knots and head right for... I don't know what the enemy raider, what type of ship she is. She was headed right for us. It appears to be an enemy light cruiser as well, a Ravana class. So this is just going to kind of sail close to the enemy. It looks like we're damaging her. It seems like our, our ships have better... Oh boy, don't get too close. We don't want them to torpedo us. We'll kind of keep shooting them. Oh no, no, don't lose them. 
Why aren't you turning? Rudder is repaired. Oh, God damn it. I sure hope it didn't escape. Rough seas, it looks like. Oh, no. Where did it go? No! God. I was beating the crap out of her, and then rough seas and a broken rudder may have just allowed her to escape. God damn it. She must have repaired herself or something. Either that or the seas are so rough that we can't see Jack Diddley in front of us. You can see up here it's heavy rain, so we may sail right past her from short ways away. God damn them. Italians getting lucky. Sure hope that doesn't count as a victory for them. Just because they didn't get sunk. And she's gone. Damn it. Marginal victory. Okay, so they did suffer medium damage. We suffered light damage. Uh, it would have been nice to finish her off. Still, we get more victory points than they do. So, guys, we're one year in to my reign as uh, the uh, ruler of France. We are at war with Italy for the second time. And thus far, we've lost a few ships in this most recent war. We've lost... Where are we even? So we've lost, what, five destroyers? One, two, three, four, five. Five destroyers, yep. Uh, the enemy's lost a heavy cruiser, a battleship, uh, and then some other light forces. Let's see where we're at. We've got two million negative in the red. We've got some ships under construction that will help bring our balance into play. We've got some new destroyers working up. Uh, you can see here there's four new destroyers. I can't even do math. There's five new destroyers here. They're working up. We're going to move them to the Atlantic, or sorry, to the Mediterranean, so that they're in the right theater when they're ready for combat. Actually, we should probably wait till they're done working up. Once they work up, we'll move them into the, the, the combat theater. And uh, so far, looks like everything is okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and jump ahead another month. We probably should actually build some new submarines since we've lost three sunk. I don't think it counts those over here, but we have lost a few subs sunk. I think they've been sinking our coastal subs, though, based on the the look of it, because we still have all of our regular subs by all appearances. Um, I'll probably build... Let's see here. If we were to build... Oh, they have mine lane subs, too. That's awesome. Does anybody know are mine lane subs actually effective? Um, monthly build cost for two. So we're building two. They'll be done in 16 months. Got a couple of destroyers coming off the ways. Just found some designs for this Italian Dreadnoughts, 9, 14 inches. Man, the AI really loves this middle turret. I'm not a fan of that. New German light cruiser, which I don't really care about because they're our allies. Our submarines sink 55 victory points worth. Uh, the enemy gains 5 victory points and 3 Italian submarines sunk. Awesome! Our battleship, the Algiers, hit a mine in the Mediterranean and is damaged. It'll be in dry dock for five months. Damn. Six one Italian merchant ship. Italian ship intercepts French raider Lalande in southern Asia. Okay. We're going to fight this battle out. Looks like there's heavy seas. And our raider's a light cruiser. Probably of the Lavasseur class. No, the Troned class, eight five-inch guns, and slow. So not really optimistic about this fight. I think our goal will be to run. I don't know ship sighted. To, holy shit! The enemy ship was sighted, and a pass-through hit. This is a big ship, folks. Uh, we're at close range. I'm guessing this is a battle cruiser or something, because that pass-through, that's never good. Um, three medium hits and one light hit. Two flooding. Okay, well maybe we can get some torpedoes off at it because the range is so damn close. That's a damn good opening salvo. Like, oh, we just saw it. Open fire and like three hits. Oh, really? It's a light cruiser. 
Huh. Interesting. Heavy rain, I guess we'll slow down. You know, if they don't want to fight us, I guess I'm okay with that. We'll just sail the other way. My opinion, we may lose this battle in terms of victory points, but in my opinion, the objective here is just to stay alive, right? We do have sonar tech, I believe. Marginal Italian victory, yeah, I mean, they did some damage to us. Okay, we're at war for four months. We really need to get that battleship fixed. Okay, so we need to pause some ships for one month because we're going to go into the red if we don't. So we'll go ahead and pause one of these Cosmo-class ships. Um, that's fine. So we've got a battle cruiser coming on. The enemy is feelers for neutral nations about negotiated peace without border changes. Uh, we're not going to let them get off light lightly. Yeah, I want at least to reach her, right? 70 to 20. The operations of our ally adds 20 victory points. Okay. So a large battle in the Lingarian Sea. Three battleships and three battleships, three battle cruisers and nine battle cruisers. Two battleships. It says it's a large battle, though it doesn't say fleet. So it looks like raid on coastal shipping. What do we have that's going in? Three squadrons flagged by a battle cruiser. So I really hope the enemy doesn't have a battle cruiser out here. Um, we want to sink two ships, two ships, any ships. It doesn't matter. We've got the battle cruiser Dukunis, nine, 15 inches. And okay, so we're actually going to command all of these ships. I'm going to try and command all the ships. It's a small enough fleet that I feel like I can do that. Actually, let's pause. We should probably speed the fleet up too, right? Make 20 knots. The whole fleet can make that speed. Oh, nice. We got one of our light cruisers as a Cosmo. So we're going to close in on the enemy ports. Hopefully we'll see something. I'll actually swing this ship east. Although once it goes out of sight, we're not going to be able to command it, so we can't go too far east. Actually, this ship can make good speed, so... Waiting to see some enemy ships. Oh, damn. Those light cruisers can only make 23 knots. Ship spotted. Where? All right, let's head for enemy ship spotted off to the east. We need to sink two to consider this a victory. So the Cosmo can make 28 knots. We're going to send her out at max speed, 28 knots. The battle cruiser is going to lay back with the other two light cruisers, and we'll close to investigate. So this claims it's an enemy battle cruiser, or enemy cruiser, sorry. I'd be more than happy. Oh, shit, three battle cruisers? No! <laughs> okay, so we're going to be somewhat out, outgunned. Can we fight them three to one? Looks like our light cruiser suffered some damage. I think our rudder must be damaged. What am I doing? I'm like sailing around in circles. Oh boy, one turret's destroyed. One's jammed. We've taken 14 heavy hits and heavy flooding. Ah! Get out of there! Bad decision. Horrible decision. Disastrous defeat. You're going to the AI. I think her rudder's jammed. Nope. All right. Try and escape. <laughs> Damn it. They're going to finish that light cruiser off for sure. Cosmos on its own. Three enemy battle cruisers against one of ours. Uh, 
definitely a major French or major Italian victory. We've got two turrets on the ship knocked out. 28 heavy hits. Structure damage is pretty heavy. I'm going to slow us down to 20 knots. Just hopefully that saves some damage now that the enemy's kind of a ways back. Sacrificed one cruiser. The Bugard. Is it any good? What class of ship is that? Um, sinking. Love sewer class. Okay, so at least it's an obsolete class. I was worried that it might be something better. So, obviously this is a failure. Quite embarrassingly so. But as long as we get our battle cruiser back home, uh, at least it won't change the balance of any... Shouldn't change the balance of any of the actual naval engagements. Damn. Okay. We're going to, go into port near Nice. Major, wait, France, major victory. Huh? We did heavy damage to an enemy battlecruiser, apparently. We lost a light cruiser, but we did heavy damage to one battlecruiser, medium damage to another, and light damage to a third. So I guess heavy damage to a light cruiser, moderate damage to at least two battlecruisers versus moderate damage to one battlecruiser and one light cruiser sunk is a victory. Okay. I'm okay with that, I guess, because we escaped heavily outnumbered and, and didn't lose. Nonetheless, there you go. I'm 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 happy with that. I would not say that's a battle worthy of remembering with any kind of accomplishments, but hey, I'm I'm happy with it. Um Let's see. Battle cruiser is in the yard with engine problems. The army wants more resources. Sure. We can get by with less for a little while. A large liner is sunk by our submarines. The SS Papin. With heavy loss of life. Neutral nations are outraged. Your prestige suffers. Damn. Uh, unexpected battle. Southern tip of Italy. We can't avoid it. Sink two ships of any kind is our objective. Man, the Cosimo is just everywhere. And now we've got a battle cruiser here as well. My, If we end up in a battleship battle engagement, though, this is one of those bizarre four forward-facing guns. Ugh. At least the last one was Tortuga's ship, which we know is superior to the enemy, but in this case, ugh. All right, we're going to let these guys be AI-controlled. They'll follow and support. And then we'll control the Cosmo ourselves. We're going to crank everybody up to 20 knots. The nice thing is with the Cosmo making 28 knots, the Marseille can make up to 30. So we should be able to outspeed anything that we run into. And waiting for the unexpected encounter to occur. Now, it's only one month away, so hopefully two of their battle cruisers are out of commission in, in dry docks. Granted, they have, what, eight of them? So they could still bring a pretty strong force to bear against us. I guess we crank speed up to 22 knots. Okay. Just waiting to see something as we close in on the port. Not sure where anything is. Unknown ship spotted. Okay, so enemy ship spotted off our port. Swing in. It's an enemy battle cruiser, apparently. Although, if we head in forward, we might have a slight advantage. No, it's not a battle cruiser, but there are battle cruisers behind us. Lovely. 
Cosmo will speed up. It's an enemy troop ship or something. So let's see, what does the enemy have behind us? Two battle cruisers. So if our gun if we had a better layout with guns, I think we'd have a chance. How is that ship not sinking yet, by the way? Okay, now it sank. No, not while you're under fire. Cosmo, you need to get back here. I'll let the AI get you back. How's the Marseille doing? High speed is increasing flooding. Oh boy. So, flooding, moderate damage. One heavy hit, one medium hit. So nothing too serious. But that's quite a bit of flooding, so we're going to have to reduce speed a bit. Reduce speed to 19 knots. Hopefully the enemy doesn't press home the attack. How is that high speed? No, the Marseille is sinking. Uh, well... XTRG's crappy battle. I mean, granted, I used it like an idiot. I shouldn't have gone three to one, but. Dun, 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 dun. Um, what's the uh, Cosmo? All right. God damn it. So we just lost a battle cruiser. That's for sure a major defeat. Let our people go. Fine, if you're going to hurt... Oh, I don't... Get out of there. Major Italian victory. The Cosimo or the Marseille is sunk. The enemy did lose one auxiliary. Err. And that's a huge disparity there. That's gonna put them ahead, isn't it? No. No, it puts them close. They're still behind. <sighs> that sucks. Okay. Continue the war. A convoy attack. So three battleships and two battle cruisers. If they really only have one battleship to bear, I'm okay with that fight. Of course, it doesn't matter because we don't really... Oh, we do get those ships. Nice. So we've got two battleships here. And our ships are pretty well armored. Remember, we've got... I mean, they're slow, but they're 15 inchers. They definitely outgun the enemy. So I think what we do... So what are we supposed to do? We're supposed to sink two enemy transports. Okay. So our battleships are slow. They're not very good at convoy rating. But there's the enemy convoy. So I think we take control of this guy. Basically send them on a headlong charge straight into that enemy formation. Maybe risky, but it's a light cruiser. Not not a big difference. Meanwhile, our battleships crank up to 19 knots, and hopefully we close the distance. And there's a lot of ships. And the only has battle cruisers. 
So we'll let the AI figure out what to do with you. Meanwhile, our battleships Oh, the enemy has battleships too. Damn. Was it two on two though? I think those are fair odds. I probably should check and see what's going on with the fighting, right? Frond is hit by a torpedo. That's one of our destroyers. Enemy battleship is hit by a torpedo. That's good. Okay, so we sank two enemy merchant ships. We've also hit an enemy battleship by a torpedo. One of ours has been hit by a torpedo. I'm just kind of speeding through this battle like an idiot. I think we slow down to try and limit flooding. Oh, I didn't realize we had a devastation battleship too. Hopefully we can... There we go. We finished the enemy battleship off, I think. So let's slow speed. I think this may have been a major victory for us. Depending on if our ship that's damaged sinks. Let's go ahead and pause. I kind of blasted through that battle without paying too much attention. So the one ship of ours that hit a torpedo or was struck by a torpedo is moderate flooding. But I think if we slow down, we can save her. Meanwhile, we might be able to finish off some more of these enemy ships that are damaged. We definitely sunk one enemy battleship again, which is nice. I don't really count the battlecruiser we lost as much of a loss, because again, it was a very peculiar armed ship. Okay. I shouldn't be that close to the turn. Okay, so we just sank another enemy light cruiser. Yes, yes, pick up survivors. Yes, okay. I should just say yes to all. There are ships that are shooting at something up here. Looks like another enemy destroyer. This is a weird little fight here. Because some of these are not part of my division. They're kind of like support forces that I don't think I control. It's hard to tell how this fight went. I don't think... Oh no. These ships aren't in my control, right? Yeah. The devastation, is it sinking? I can't see. I don't know why it stopped. I don't know who's shooting at it. Really don't want to lose a battleship. Okay, Devastation's moving again. Let's get over there and see who the heck's shooting at him. Okay, so there's an enemy battlecruiser over here. Engaged with our two historical gamer class battleships. And the Devastation. Now, it looks like the enemy battle cruiser's not moving very much. Okay, nice. We may have just sunk an enemy battle cruiser as well. Although, again, the devastation in the Secret of Blue. Wow, wow. This could turn into a decisive Italian victory. Two enemy capital ships, hopefully without loss. We'll see. We've definitely suffered damage. The Secret of Blue looks beat up as well. Yep, okay. Pick up survivors. Well, let's get the heck out of here, right? I'm more than happy with that result. Well, I hope the Secret of Blue can recover. Looks like she has. Nightfall's approaching. We'll call this the Battle of Malta, because it took place right off the shore of Malta. 
You just get points for picking up survivors. So we lost the Sekera Blue. It hit a mine while leaving the battlefield. Nonetheless, it's an old pre-Dreadnought class, the uh, historical gamer class. So we did lose one battleship, unfortunately, as well as one destroyer. But we sank an enemy battleship, we sank an enemy battle cruiser, and we heavily damaged another enemy battle cruiser. Um, we also sank five destroyers, one light cruiser, six auxiliaries. This is a huge, hu a huge, a huge victory. Believe you me, a huge victory. Um, a major French victory. Uh, potentially battle deciding. 9,000 victory points. The enemy does get 4,000 because they did sink one of our ships. Uh, but we gained two prestige points. So yes, this is a memorable battle. And it is the Battle of Malta. Ooh, that was a big one, folks. Big one. Although I wish our victory point lead was higher. <laughs> These are high victory points. This is a galling war. Um, we saved a bit of money, I guess, by having a historical gamer class go out damaged. Uh, her crew was only fair. We've only got one left of the historical gamers. All right, folks, that one ran a little bit long again, another 40-minute episode. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this stream or this video off here right now. Uh, we won a couple more victories against Italy as well as one minor defeat. And uh, we've been wearing down the Italian fleet, sinking half of their battleships and a couple of their battle cruisers, or at least one of their battle cruisers. Uh, so far, the war is going well. Despite being outnumbered, things are going okay. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream and the video. If you guys have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. But until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying thank you for watching, and I'm out.